What would happen if 240 people purchased one less cup of coffee a month? Surprisingly, a lot. In 2006, Eric Sampson of Flute Maker Ministries visited a small town in the country of Nicaragua called Cascabel. Since that day, his life has never been the same. Hi, I'm Eric the Flute Maker, and um, we have a work in Nicaragua. This is the $5 search for mercy. One of the things we do is we helped uh, to rescue 18 kids from a garbage dump, built them a home, bought land. Uh, and then we found out from the outer ring that there was about 195 kids that needed uh, supplies, so we began supplying them. And then after that, um, on a conversation with uh, the caretaker on the ground, he said, if we had land, we'll never be hungry. And uh, someone helped us to buy a farm. So that farm is 25 acres, and we've been farming it since 2012. And the other thing is, we move food that is already in Nicaragua to, uh, to 60 feeding centers, and that's uh, what we're doing. The Mercy Ministry Fund started out when we put a website up uh, asking for help for the kids of the Mercy Ministry. 80% of the homes uh, have, are abandoned by fathers. They basically had an attitude, I had a, a bum kid and they left. And the mothers are 24-7 moms. So if they can't, uh, they can't work because they gotta be with their kid, uh, there would be hunger if we weren't bringing something. I need $1,200 a month to be able to buy supplies and bring them to these kids. So I'm actually asking uh, for 240 people to donate $5 at flutemakerministries.org and after they put the five dollars in, there's another box next to it that says, make this reoccurring. And the way to learn more from, uh, from what we're doing is visit uh, uh, flutemakerministries.org and uh, people can email me also at info at ericthefluteMaker.com. What would happen if 240 people purchased one less cup of coffee a month? A lot.